Good morning, Seminole Bridge. I'm Ann Perry. Today is Wednesday, April 22nd, and you're watching Hawk Headlines. Late Monday night, President Donald Trump officially announced that he will be signing an executive order to temporarily suspend immigration into the United States as the nation battles the health and economic effects of this pandemic. Officials are still working to draft the executive order, but hope to have it completed in the next few days. As the pandemic progresses, the number of new cases continues to slow across the state of Florida. This is a hopeful sign that has led to the relaxing of social distancing as well as hopefully reopenings. On Monday, crude oil prices hit their lowest ever recorded price and even dipped into the negatives as many oil producing countries have continued to produce crude oil among the global pandemic. These countries now have excess oil and nowhere to store it, resulting in historically low prices. Today's trivia question, what animal has four noses? We'll have the answer later in the show. With the stay-at-home order in place, most adults and working teens have been moved home or have had strict procedures put in place to keep them safe. Hawk Headlines reporter Jasmine Alvarez has the story. Due to recent events involving COVID-19, many people's workplaces have been changed monumentally. This has affected every career in every aspect. Firefighter David Bell explains the ways in which this virus has changed his place of work. Every patient we approach now, we have to slow down and protect ourselves first. Um, unfortunately, um, dealing with sick people, we never know what we come across. And now we treat everybody like they have the corona. Many companies have come up with alternate solutions. One of these being working from home. We are all working from home now. Um, it's been a little bit of an adjustment. Uh, but in a way it's good because we save money on gas, we save money on eating out for lunch. Things like restaurants have had to limit seating to prevent the spread of the coronavirus. In the state of Florida, only deliveries and takeout are allowed. Some restaurant employees have actually experienced an increase in tips and sales. That, my other job as a pizza delivery driver has actually been doing a lot better ever since Corona. For WSRH Extra, I'm Jasmine Alvarez. Attention seniors, with the recent announcement that we will be holding a virtual graduation ceremony, seniors are asked to fill out a form in order to be recognized. This form is due May 1st and can be found through Google Classroom. If you have any questions, contact Dr. Campbell or Mrs. Long. The Seminole Ridge Counseling Department is excited to host a Palm Beach State College Virtual Application Day. The event will take place next Monday, April 27th at 3 p.m. and will be held via Google Meet. Unfortunately, the SAT testing day for June 6, 2020 has been canceled. They are still planning to hold new testing days for the upcoming school year so that everyone who wishes to take the exam is able to. You can visit the College Board SAT website for more information on their COVID-19 response. Happy birthday to Seminole Ridge's head custodian, Mr. Pelfrey. We wish him some well-deserved rest before custodians get called back to school to get things ready for the fall. The answer to today's trivia question, what animal has four noses, is a slug. Many people are stuck at home and have begun to run out of things to do. Let's take a look at a simple slime recipe that will keep you entertained for hours. Well, that's it for Hawk Headlines. I'm Ann Perry. Don't forget to follow us and send submissions to us at Seminole Ridge TV on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Have a great day, Hawks.